highest uh, switch to DirectX 11, which it doesn't default to that. It defaults to something called Vulkan. I haven't. I don't. I, I don't know what the heck Vulcan is. I, I, I may need to look that up. I'm pretty informed on this stuff too. I still don't know what that is. I know what DirectX 11 is. Anyways, so let's hope that this makes it s continue smoothly. I would think it will. The um, screen doesn't fit because my I, I have such a wide monitor. I have an ultra wide uh, curved monitor. And so it doesn't fit um, into the into the output, the stream output. So I have to shrink it. That's why it's that's why it's got the the black box at the bottom. That's where I put the webcam, which I think kind of works for this. It kind of works all right. That way you can see the the entire interface. I may end up moving this to my my uh, SD drive because uh, the load times are real slow. All right, seems you're running okay right now. I learned that if you hold down the Alt key, it automatically lights up everything that you can interact with. That is useful information to have. That's weird. Holding out all does not light that up. That's odd. It does light up this body over here and this intellect of our that's dead. It does not light up the containers, so that's good to know. So you still have to scan for that. That's kind of annoying. I would prefer they fix that. It must have been fishing when these monsters came. Fumed letter still legible in spite of water stains and smears. Inventory. Read. Sigh. I love you. There. I. S okay. This girl's voice. I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again and keep on saying it till we're old and gray. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so stay here. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know how risky. Sigh's dead. Last few months have been hard, but there's always a little easier when when you're there. Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do without without the rest. Don't be late. Eee! I'm terrible. I have terrible news. Oh wait, I hit the wrong button. I have terrible news for you. Go to that gate. Let me go back here. Let's go back here and investigate this bridge. Or this boat. Leave the boat. Ugh. Bad things. Bucket of fish. Now I have two buckets of fish. Shanties for the bitch queen. There's that. Lots of food. Alright. That's all. Is that it? Oh, it'll tell you if it's empty too. Another stepper out. Wait. It's 
you. You're the one who tried to free me on the ship. At least you made the effort. Suddenly, you see what she sees, feel what she feels. Confusion, resolve, and a hint of gratitude. Some psionics going on. <gasps> Did you feel that? You've got the same thing I do in your head. The same. It must be that tadpole they put in our eyes. I assume that's what caused our minds to cross. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. You and I need a healer. Finding one won't be easy in this wilderness. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door. But I've barely made a dent in it so far. So you need a hand. That was the only entrance. You could look elsewhere. Be my guest, but that door's too strong. Maybe there's another way, up the cliff. Hopefully, there's no more of these things. No, unless you count these monsters. You're the friendliest face so far. Well, these things have been giving me plenty of practice. But I'd rather get out of here than push my luck. Or just company for our final moments. But you're right. Whatever lies priest. ahead will be a little less daunting with support. You can call me Shadowheart. I've never met an elf, half or otherwise, with such an enticing name. I'm more concerned with this. Very uh, little. What do you know about Supposedly, the tadpole? Supposedly, those monsters breed by planting their tadpoles in people's heads. Over time, the infected victim turns into a mind flare. I don't remember how long it takes, but we should hurry. Lead the way. Got a party member. Click on the portrait to control the character. Drag portraits apart to split the party. Okay. What the hell is that? Is that the is that the rune how I can save or something? More of those wretched things. Ah, is there anything this way? Something the matter? So that's to say you'd like to pry a little. You do seem like the type, I must say. Inquisitive, looking for connection. It's every man for himself, and you're looking to make friends. Admirable, I suppose. Or desperate. I'm not quite sure.
That's all you're entitled to, for now. Our parasite problem doesn't make you my confidant. We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to, exactly? This is stuff. I loot everything, man. These tools, what's up? here. Let's go this way. Be right. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Better stay back. One strike could be lethal. Where's my opponent? There. Smashed. This things have a rain. Oh my god. I'm gonna get two shot. That was not what I meant to do, but whatever. Um, these things are smashing my ass, man. I don't know if I can recover from that. What do you mean invalid target? I haven't targeted anything. Target her. Okay. Now I'm in better shape. Can't move. Can't attack. Holy shit. These things are fucking me up. I can do nothing but try to get her up. Wow, that is terribly designed. Holy smokes. Three of those things do an immense amount of damage for a level one character. 
with jack shit. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe you can draw them out one at a time. Let's see. That's what early fights are for, anyways. Learning. Oh, I have to go through all this shit again. Take all. Let's go through it quickly. Though. No, 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 no. Over here. Take all. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Right over here. Loot. Take all. Nothing in there. Backpack. Take all. Nothing to see there. Loot the book or the letter. Go this way. Dead fisherman. Nothing on that one. Nothing on that. Take all. Blasted door! Stop! Not another stepper out! Wait. It's you. You're the one who tried to free me on the ship. I did. At least you made the effort. Suddenly, you see what she sees. Feel what she feels. Confusion. Resolve. And a hint of gratitude. Ah! Did you feel that? You've got the same thing I do, in your head. The same. It must be that tadpole they put in our eyes. I assume that's what caused our minds to cross. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. You and I need a healer. Finding one won't be easy in this wilderness. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door, but I've barely made a dent in it so far. I was thinking the same thing. Around the top of this cliff, perhaps. Hopefully there's no more of these creatures along the way. Well, these things have been giving me plenty of practice, but I'd rather get out of here than push my luck. No, unless you count these monsters. You're the friendliest face so far. Or just company for our final moments. But you're right. Whatever lies ahead will be a little less daunting with support. You can call me Shadowheart. I've never met a drow with a sense of humor. Perhaps we'll get along. the way all right number one let's save so we don't go through that again this has been one of those games where I have like a million saves Probably can teleport to waypoints, right? Is that what it is? I've done very little research on this game. Alright, so we know we gotta go up here, loot a bunch of bodies. What spells does she have? Let's look at that. Blessing of the Trickster. Grant another creature advantage in stealth checks. Charm person. Disguise self, resistance, our illusion, sacred flame, conjure a f flame like radiance that deals 1d8 damage. Divination cantrip, create water, guiding bolt, healing words, there we go.
vicious filth. Best keep some distance, or this will be a short fight. Dip. Then I'm gonna back. All right. Then I wanna shoot. Then I'm gonna back the heck up. Wow, she got one shot! <sighs> Am I in like a zone that I shouldn't be in? Like, I'm getting freaking jacked up. Like, it's not even, it's not even a fight. There's no climb. Nah, that's not bad. Body under there, I can get to it. All right, these things move twice as far as I do. Like,
Great, I rolled a one. One shot. Goodness. Take your... All right. Intended. So we throw. Nearly one shot. Oh, bleeding damage. Push on healing. Wait, don't die. shot my god I lived use the campfire button to the log rest at your camp restoring HP and resources where is the campfire button over here go to camp and end the day Seems like a pretty shitty place to camp, but I mean, who am I to challenge that? Let's do this. Save. You save. And camp. I suppose we're on like this short timer, right? This seems as good a place as any to make camp. All right. Oh, we got a little quest or something here? I'm not sure this is a good idea. If you're not sure what is a good idea. There are lit fuses in our heads. Sooner or later, they're going to grow. Each hour that passes, the thing inside us grows. We need to find a healer. Let's wake up at first light. Uh, yeah, for sure. Maybe we'll get lucky. We're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. We'll need our strength. Cool, cool. Save again. Save. Look right. Yes. Okay. 
Oh, what? Can't do it. I'll have to do a short, shorter weapon. Should we go for this ship? See so we can find. Alright, that's actually up the cliff. Let's go out here real fast. Let's so go back here. Thieves tools. No, oh, that's what I call. Hey, babe. It's good. How you doing? What's up? So we'll put it on snack and then we'll get the to six and then when we're done we'll meet you some place for dinner.
guess. Hold on one second. One second. One second. Is this, this is this your cell phone number? Is this your, is this your cell phone? I'll text it to you. Right. Sorry, it's taking me so long. I had like uh, got, a, got a barrage of requests for things. Let's see. That's done. More thinking I'm done. Back to the game. Who is yelling? Oh, this one. How are you? I've got one of those brain things cornered. In the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you kill the others? Huh. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pod. What did you and those tentacles do to me? John Green. Hey. Yeah, question mark. Mm hmm. I didn't make it. I'm just telling you what, what's on the little sheet here. <laughs> I have no idea if it works. I haven't been on it. I'm, I'm going to be putting in a new Wi-Fi system pretty soon, but I'm waiting for Ernie to... Ernie and I are going to talk next week about it. Uh, I'm not sure. I've never been on that one, the guest one. Okay. All right, see you. I'm not an idiot. I saw... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light, the fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? The worm. A 
Of course. That explains things in some way. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. My, my, you've been busy. So, did you learn anything about these worms while wandering the ship? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And anyone that can crash a mind flare ship and walk away seems like a good person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. person they're trying to save, it's the creature from the ship, still alive, but wounded. hold on them is too strong. Monster! That's my daughter! She's dying! You... You did this! You want to kill her! I finished doing the... Mary had a little game a couple times. Yeah, you need to do it a couple dozen times. That's how you're gonna get good at it. Over here. I... Yeah. I tried doing it without looking up at the at the notes, and you I did? and I did and I did it. You did? Yeah. And I did you play it nice and smooth? Yeah. Yeah. The only place I paused at was is she practicing now? No. Um, right. The only place I paused at is when I was switching to a different to page. Okay. You gotta keep practicing if you want to be really good. Tell G to practice. Close my door, please. Okay. I guess we're killing these dudes.
Suddenly, something convulses inside you. Your vision lurches, sickeningly. You are one with your assailants. Your minds fused together. They are frightened. Lost. The creature in the wreckage is forcing them to attack you. Controlling them like puppets. Its voice shivers across your brain, seeking access. Trying to bend your will to its bidding. presence in your mind gropes for purchase and finds the tadpole instead. You push back, taking advantage of a tremor of pain that cuts through the creature. As its influence wanes, your assailants lower their weapons, blinking in confusion. I already killed two of them. Where? Where are we? There was fire in the sky and, and then... Oh, God. My friends. What happened? We murdered the shadow. Shit, should I reload? I should, should I? I shouldn't kill those guys. I don't like killing innocents, man. It's not who I am. In combat, hit O to enter tactical view. Okay. Check that out. Alright. Let's go. Come on, Dink! Faster! Get her out of there! Don't die, don't die, don't die. The person they're trying to save, it's the creature from the ship. Still alive, but wounded. Alright, let's try to persuade. No. Your words fall on deaf ears. The creature's hold on them is too strong. Monster! That's my daughter! She's dying! You... You did this! You want to kill her! Killed him just moving away. Suddenly, something convulses inside you. Your vision lurches sickeningly. You are one with your assailants, your minds fused together. Let's hope I pass my wisdom check Lost. again. The creature in the wreckage is forcing them to attack you, controlling them like puppets. Its voice shivers across your brain, seeking access, trying to bend your will to its bidding. Ooh. Presence in your mind gropes for purchase and finds the tadpole instead. You push back, taking advantage of a tremor of pain that cuts through the creature. As its influence wanes, your assailants lower their weapons, blinking in confusion. Where? 
Where are we? There was fire in the sky and and then the voice. Oh God, the voice! What happened? Help. God's above, it sounded just like my daughter. But she's been dead for years. That thing got into our heads, drove us mad. We wrecked our boat just trying to get close to it. What do we do now? We're nowhere. That's the point. Even with a boat, Baldur's Gate is days. Wait. You. I can feel you. Just like one of those things. You're one of them. There's something in your head. Please. We'll take our chances out here. Just... just leave us be. Simpletons. The beast was half dead and they still bowed to its whims. They're just calm folk. Have some sympathy. Oh, I like too, actually. After what mind flayers have done to us, we can't exactly brag. We had worms forced into our skulls. We weren't fawning over the bloody things. It's not even remotely the same. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion? Yes, you feel hate, and you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then, the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Ooh, I can't pass that in check problem. Let's try it out. Oh, critical failure. You try to break through, but its mind is impenetrable. With a last surge of defiance, it slaps your efforts away. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. These are some weird freaking items to pick up. Alright, there's nothing else here to lose. Unexpected. Last I saw you, you were lying in a crucible's worth of blood. An intellect devourer nibbling at your ear. Glad to see my eyes deceive me. I'm Gail. Well met. The very same. A traumatizing experience, if an instructive one.
Yes. The ocular penetration by an elithid tadpole, which will end with our souls being snuffed like strands of weave caught in dead magic. Not to mention, you're staring at me like a rashimi at a blackboard. You're no wizard, are you? Hmm, pity. But that'll have to wait. The primary need now is a healer. I take it you recall the insertion of the parasite? Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it'll turn us into mind flayers? A process known as seromorphosis? It is to be avoided. I assume you're no accomplished healer, either. Powerful cleric, maybe? I gather as much. We'll have to look for a solution elsewhere. You and I are in a whole lot of trouble. We need help. I'm not sure where we'll find it in this wilderness. How about we embark on a quest for a healer together? Most excellent. Then, without further ado, let's be off. Besides, looks like you keep some interesting company. A woman with shadows for eyes. Deep as the dark lake. Pleasure, madam. Is it indeed? We'll see. Leveling up. To level up, use the cross button on the character's portrait in the bottom left to gain the benefits of leveling up. Alright. Alright, I get maximum hit points per level. Nice house roll. Speak with animals. Hunter's mark. Mark a creature as your quarry and deal an additional 1d6 piercing damage when you hit it with a weapon attack. Oh, I like that. Plus two bonus to attack rolls is freaking amazing at this level. But I do want to dual wield two weapon fighting style. I think I have to go with Archer first though. No, I'm keeping those. Invoke duplicity. Summon illusion. Distract your enemies. You and your allies receive an advantage on attack rolls against a creature if both the attacker and the illusion are within three meters of it. Yeah, more heals, please. Let's get this road. A bonus. Looks like you don't get much choice. Double your movement speed for the current turn. Alright. That was easy enough. Gale the Wizard, level 2. Jump. Got protection from evil and good. Grave sickness or feather fall.
That's good. Okay, we can save now. Chapel, but it's not in Giver Pair. You're both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we stop. Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. Persuasion. Cool. All right, should be here to either. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it! Lucky those bandits valued their own hides over their loot. There's something underneath here. What the hell is he doing? What the hell is wrong with him? How can I help? What was that? That blood has got some kind of weirdness to it. Something the matter? No! Time and the elements have left the plaque unreadable. Thank you, Gibblebock! Everything all right out there? Number two, I think. Performance. You sound a bit shaken, boss. Hang on while I find the key. Can you just jump past people? You can. This guy's getting wrecked. You fight well. Perhaps our survival isn't such a difficult. See in the dark, use a light source like a torch or light casting cantrip. Creatures with dark vision don't need an external light source. Being able to see where others can't see will give you the advantage in combat. What leather armor? Short sword, bandit's key. Uh, where 
there's still other armor. It's on the other character. How do I bring up all of their stuff at the same time? Or cycle through them. That'd be good. You can do that here. Okay. Something the matter. Oh my god, this is gonna drive me nuts. I accept the clicking on people. Taking whatever. It's not just falling below the horizon when I first heard its call. A thousand reed pipes at once, whistling a single beautiful, terrible song. Ula Thalang said, Jaw, it's coming. Jaw dropped her pack and scurried up the nearest biter. With a bit more effort, I climbed a tree of my own, and the two of us surveyed the grassy ground beneath. A woo, there it was again. Alright, whatever. Milk can. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. A dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Just murdering everybody. I don't even know what they're doing. But time to murder, I guess. Did 
Did I disintegrate her? Where's her body? Look at these yield or something. We are getting jacked up. Oh, what's tactical mode? Oh, top down. Two-hander. Drop like a bad habit. Death savings are failed. That's not good. I think you felt three of them, you're dead. What just happened?
Yay. That guy's got a lot of hit points. God dang! Son of a bitch. Who died? The mage? Target is too far. What are you talking about? I don't know what the hell this thing's talking about. I can't move. I can't do shit. What the hell's going on? Ha! 
What are we doing here? Magical projection of Gale of Waterdeep. If you see this manifestation, that means I have prematurely perished. However, for reasons that cannot be disclosed, it is of vital importance that my death be remedied at your earliest convenience. You may rest assured that I do not speak out of self preservation alone. Many lives depend on my return to the living within the span of two days. I trust I've made myself clear. upon my deceased person, a magical item that can accomplish my return. But such is the value and rarity that it is protected by a multi-layered security protocol. I will now explain the protocol. Step one is to retrieve from my person a pouch I wear over my heart. Next, you must unthread the purple seam that seals it in a counterclockwise fashion. Do not touch any other colored strand. Inside the pouch you will find a folded letter and a tiny flute. Unfold the letter and note the markings in the top and bottom corners. These are the notes you will need to play. Starting from the bottom right, play the notes in correct order, clockwise this time. Upon completion of the tune, a magma method will appear, which will pose the following question. Iskcha Chisnaga. This is Ignan for what is my name? The answer is Kasitrak Ash. Pronounce the name correctly and the method will breathe on the letter. Stay clear because the little scamp can melt metal. Words will now appear on the letter's surface, effectively turning the letter into a scroll of true resurrection. Use it to bring me back to life. This is all ridiculously elaborate. Right, ingenious is the word you're looking for. <laughs> now, repeat my instructions back to me, please. In that case, this will be an easy exercise. Step one. And next. Right. You then have access to the letter and the flute. Go on. Remember to play them clockwise. And after that... Correct. But pay attention to the track part. is back of the throat. So we have gone through the necessary steps again. It is gratifying to see your memory does not fail you. Best of luck with the protocol. May my cold, dead hand soon be refilled with the warmth of life so they can shake yours in gratitude. Do not 
recognize the language on the plaque. Life or service had been impeccable. Daily did she devote herself to the Lady of Loss. Daily did she free herself from the tyranny of memory. All in time was lost to her, her relations, her preferences, even her own name. Upon the altar of her devotion placed she the ultimate offerings, her empty mind. And when she died, when she awoke in death and found herself standing in the pale of the invaded city of judgment, she waited for the Lady of Loss to retrieve her. A million souls and more passed her in cold disgust, but no hand materialized in her hand. In her hand, no voice whispered instructions in her ear, no guidance proffered itself from the bleached and barren sky. Time, immaterial time, passed around her like air, coming and going, and still the goddess did not come for her devotee. Kelivor pitied her, as much as the Lord of the Dead is able, but could not intervene. This cleric of the Lady of Loss, unclaimed despite her worthiness, might yet have one more lesson to learn than not that not of forgetting but being forgotten deep how do we move faster all right simple robe quarter staff scroll of animal friendship what just killed me What is dealing all this damage? The hail. Oh, dead, dead. Well, that makes absolutely no sense at all. There must be like a freaking poison cloud up here or some shit. I'm going to have to go take the kids and feed them. Here in a minute. I'm still in the learning phase of this game, it's figuring out the interfaces and the different quirks. before the fight. I think I'm going to call it for now. I'll be back later.